of them uh, become cured and this is uh, for a particular disease then uh, the study the doctors are physicians as well as the they are treating the patients so they, uh, they are also conducting the, this particular study uh, for uh, developed a new knowledge then it is practitioner knowledge while we need predictive research predictive research is an analytical research to provide uh, companies with actionable insight based on some data for example few days back we uh, observed few accidents in some uh, factories in bangladesh so if we study the causes of that particular incidents and uh, we can define what are the precautionary measures they should have previously but uh, as they are not uh, taking that particular reference so based on empirical uh, data set if we uh, can forecast something uh, in advance then we can term it as a predictive research so primary research is the first hand research original research or direct research so these are uh, these are using collecting data from the respondent primarily problem oriented research so from the name it is clear the problem oriented research is uh, policing can be based defined as the development of strategy that identify the root causes of a problem along with the solution to prevent that problem is a problem oriented research in problem oriented research projects and facts knowledge is uh, pro produced in the context of an application does not exist and include possibilities of carrying out research that will also advance fundamental knowledge problem solving research are a process of working through detail out the problem and to reach a solution the problem solving research are conducted to solve problem to make decision in recognition of an important issue in education in industry in government uh, qualitative research purpose is to understand the, to orient to use subject data to extract meaning and focus uh, on a particular issue holistically that is qualitative data quantitative data uh this is it is usually based upon the numerical uh, measurements and thus trend to understand the number and statistical method to key research indicators and tools it tends to be associated with analysis and it tends to be associated with large scale studies with a scientific focus often conducting information uh, and it is it tends to be associated with research development procedures objective numerical data that is independent and researcher it is very controlled and extract approach to research uh, secondary research as we said that this research are mainly to explain the primary findings of a primary research providing insight to prior a primary research secondary research is defined as an an uh, interpretative or interpretation of primary research an answer to informal needs theoretical research is also called pure research and uh, it is main uh, basic original research can lead to a, a discovery and can result in the development of reinforcement and helps getting knowledge without thinking formal or implementing or practicing the main prop difference between theoretical action research action research are mainly uh, for making it commercially viable and theoretical research uh, never think about the commercial viability of the outcome so in this uh, stage let's uh, think about research process what are the processes involved in a research program to conduct a research first step is determining the topic so before going for every research we must uh, determine a 
clearly defined topic for research. For example, conceptualizing the study. What will be uh, the requirement of resources? Uh, what type of skill set we require? How many persons should be involved? What time will be required to conduct this study? And how many, uh, how much money will be involved? Just to presume, to understand the overall gamut of the research can be termed as conceptualization of the study. This is the first step of determining the topic. Identify the research questions. Then obviously research uh, is to focus, to identify any problem or to solve a problem or to understand behavior of a person or of a particles. So identify the research questions, what we should try to know is the second step. Then reviewing the relevant literature, whether this sort of research has been conducted previously or whether uh, the questions has been answered by any previous research, uh, then we can determine this topic. Reviewing relevant literature. After studying relevant literature, we can refine the re uh, research question. Because when we try to write something, uh, we try to conduct a research, we can try to uh, determine uh, any topic for conducting a research. It could be very um, ordinal, but when we study, we revise some previous data, then we understand it more clearly. And then only we can finalize the topic for a particular research. So the first step of conducting a research, formal research is the determining the topics. After determining the topic, the second action is background information collection. Thus, we have write down the topic. Now the, our second activity is, is collecting background information on this particular topic. Uh, for collecting background information, we have to go through review of relevant literature, finalizing the research question, identify the scope of study, and determining research strategy. So these four uh, action we have to be taken in this particular part. So after collecting background information, we have to plan out, chop down the total study design. For example, finalizing the scope of the study, selecting the research methodology, in which method, uh, is it a qualitative research, is it a quantitative research, will we collect, conduct a survey, or we'll interview someone, or we'll um, conduct focus group discussion. So all this information, select collection methods should be uh, identified. Determining budgetary requirement, how much money will be required, to conduct this particular study. Then team formation, what should types of uh, skills will be required to condolize, conduct this study or research. Then after form, uh, forming the team, then we can say that research planning is done. Then designing the study. What are the tools and techniques will be used in this study? Drafting research proposal, or drafting inception report, identify the population. Uh, from them, we will collect information. After identification of the population, uh, we have to uh, sort it down into sample frame, then into sample, determination of sample size, then identify data collection method. How we'll collect data? Uh, whether we will conduct KII or we will conduct FZD or we will observe only. So based on types of research we, we have previously described, for, a, for an experimental research, we cannot uh, have an interview. For example, we would like to know behavior of a tiger or a group of tiger living in Sundarban, Bangladesh. If we would like to study uh, behavioral aspect of tiger in the Sundarban, then we cannot take their interview. We cannot 